Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about the new hard drive emulator product which I'll be manufacturing and selling to TRS-80 enthusiasts. But to get your head around why this product's here, I'll go into a bit of history and show you a hard disk based TRS-80 and why the um, emulator was developed. So here we have in front of us a, uh, a Model 4 TRS-80 and on top of it is a hard drive, a couple of hard drives. And uh, they're very easy to, to uh, operate. We just turn this key, let it wind up like so, turn on the Model 4 diskette prompt. This is our boot disk which boots up the hard drive. There it goes. We put in today's date which is um, 0507 Not going to worry about the time and there we're operating off the hard drive. Boot disk comes out and our TRS-80 is now operating off the hard drive. Uh, the hard drive is partitioned into six partitions. There they are there. And the two floppy drives are on the end. Drive 6 and Drive 7. disk capacity on um, the hard disk. Um, so that's how a, uh, a traditional TRS-80 hard drive operates. The trouble with these hard drives, they were extremely expensive when they were new. They're hard to find these days for that reason and they need a lot of work to make them work. When they work, they work really well and they're fast and um, they make using the TRS-80 a real pleasure. Finding these guys is very difficult. Restoring them is even more difficult. This is actually a big steel box. I'll show you what's in it. I'll just point my camera down a little bit and zoom in. Inside the um, inside the steel box is one of these hard disk controller and one of these an MFM uh, 15 megabyte hard drive. It's enormous and after 30 years, it's not particularly reliable. In fact, I modify the uh, TRS-80 hard drives and put Seagate hard drives in it, but that's by the by. So in order for the TRS-80 to talk to the MFM hard drive this complicated controller is required. It's huge, it has an enormous number of chips, it was one of those bits of engineering that um, probably cost a lot of time and money back in the early 1980s and um, but it, when it works, it works pretty well. So where we're at now is the emulator the emulator, I'll show you here. Is just that little circuit board right right there. Quite simply, these few chips here and associated components do the job of everything on here and a regular SD card does the job of the MFM hard drive. So we don't need the big steel box, we don't need the MFM hard drive, and oops, there we go. We have this little board that just needs a 5 volt power source. that's the hard drive emulator. It still has a 50 pin bus connector. 
so it connects to the TRS-80 the same way through the same hard drive cable that you would normally use to connect one of those um, MFM hard drives and it um, uh, yeah so these will be ready soon for sale as soon as I've got uh, stock of components and circuit boards um, the way that I have them configured is as a 40, 42 meg uh, hard drive um, for use with the TRS-80 running LDOS for Model 3's or LS-DOS for Model 4 mode I'm going to stop the video here for a minute and then start it again in a moment after I've connected up the emulator to my 4P and you can see that it starts and operates exactly like a regular hard drive in fact according to the TRS-80 it thinks it's got a regular Tandy hard drive connected oh just one more thing before I show you the emulator in action is how quickly these hard drives load software those of you who um, use LaScript 2.0 know that off floppy drives they're an extremely slow program to load they've got a lot of modules uh, to load on a hard drive they load very quickly overlays overlays ready key to begin okay so you can see the hard drives uh, do make using a TRS-80 a real pleasure they make the computer very quick it's like using a mini computer as opposed to a micro okay so I'm going to turn this thing around and show you my 4P which is currently connected to the emulator Okay, that's the emulator sitting there on top of the 4P. I've got it connected to a regular external disk drive power supply. We can use any source of 5 volts. Emulator SD card is installed. Since this is a 4P, we need to hold the FT, F2 key down as we turn it on when it's got a hard drive connected because like I say, the computer thinks of this as another hard drive and we have our boot floppy here put that guy in boot him up there we go date and time and off it goes so now the emulator is running on a 4P. We'll do the same uh, things we did before. A device check. There's our six hard drive partitions and two floppy drives. Two floppy drives are again six and seven. Uh, we can do a free check of free space on any of the drives we feel like. That's drive zero. That's what one with nothing on it looks like. Okay, and we'll just show it lower, loading the script from before. Flash screen, loading program overlays, hard disk activity lights going like crazy, and hit enter to continue. So as you can see, uh, the emulator has a similar speed to the MFM hard drive um, as far as the uh, usability and execution goes, it's as fast as an MFM hard drive and the TRS-80 treats it exactly as that. Um, there are programs that come with the uh, emulator which will enable you to move um, image software uh, from uh, emulator running on a PC onto the SD card easily they're included and one of the more advanced features of the uh, of the emulator so that's my short video of the 
Verkoven, Fred Verkoven hard disk emulator for TRS-80 developed by Fred in Belgium and will be built and distributed by me from Melbourne, Australia. Any questions? Send me an email. My address is enm at trs-80.com. Thanks for watching.